Hello Aries, this is Debs and this is your reading for August 2023. Aries, it's amazing to be with you. I hope everything is good with you. Now Aries, I have to admit, um, I'm still feeling quite unsettled. I got a very difficult vision for you, but it ended well. Okay, I want to say that before I start. I saw a man crouching in the corner of a jail cell with metal rings around his feet that were chained. Almost the image of someone in a jail cell in medieval times, okay? This person heard a lot of kerfuffle outside his jail cell and slowly got up and sort of shuffled with his feet chained together to these raw time bars and stood looking to see if he could figure out what was going on. Before he knew it, there was a massive explosion the jail cell door flung open and he stepped out through this jail cell and looked around him. And through the smoke and the rubble, he realised that everything around him had disintegrated. It was frightening, but the first thought he had was, I'm free. I'm free. And as he looked up, because the building had disintegrated, he could see the sun. He could see the sun. So Aries, I don't know whether or not someone here has had to go through jail time and they are free. I don't know whether or not somebody has, okay, Archangel Michael's talking to me. Wow. Wow. Oh, I'm now seeing a little boy kneeling in front of a bishop and this bishop is placing his hand on this little boy's head and he's saying your sins are forgiven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, your sins are forgiven. Okay. This little boy is standing up with tears in his eyes and he's looking up at the bishop and he's simply saying, thank you, Father. All right, um, Aries, someone here could have gone through an awakening. Someone here could have seen the error of their ways. Somebody may have cleared up karma. But I feel that through this highly emotional time, Aries, whoever you are, male or female, someone here has sort of seen the light. They're now stepping into the light. All right, Aries, let's begin. Let's begin. I'm hearing Isaiah chapter 4, verse 11. Okay, I'll look that up. I'm now seeing an eagle just gliding on the wind, just gliding on the wind. Aries, all right. So Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, August 2023. What do we have for Aries, please, Michael? Thank you. What do we have for Aries? I keep hearing your sins have been forgiven. Okay. Eight of Wands. So Aries, you could have received some really good news. Which has enabled you to break free of a situation and to move forward with speed. Okay. Yes. Wow. The Fool. You are on a new journey, Aries. You cut away from the past. I'm seeing somebody in the shower. <laughs> Aries, you may feel as if you've been washed clean, okay? Washed clean of your sins. In the past, Six of Swords. Aries, you learned a lot of lessons in the past. You may have moved to a different location with a sense of resignation, I'm hearing. The Star. 
in the past Aries, you could have met an Aquarius or you could have Aquarius in your chart, but there was a realization that you wanted to heal yourself and cleanse yourself of everything that had happened before, almost the energy of rebirth. Almost the energy of rebirth. What you're thinking about is the Two of Cups, a deep soul connection. In the immediate future, Three of Wands, you're waiting for your ships to come in, Aries. You could be thinking about somebody at a distance. What you're fearing is that this is all divinely guided with the energy of the Temperance card. But I also get a feeling, Aries, you don't want to wait any longer. It's as if you're telling yourself, if I don't do this now, I, I will never do it. I never will. I have to tell someone that I'm ready for a new journey. In the environment is the Empress. Now you could be thinking about a Taurus or a Libra, Aries. You could be, you could be Aries realizing that you've met your true divine feminine. You recognize that connection now. You could be wanting to talk to someone that you have a child with who could be your empress, mother of your child. What you're hoping is to sit in meditation just a little while longer to settle your energies to decide how you're going to approach this person. What you want to say, Aries, has to be right. It has to be said in the right way, with the right emotion. You've been considering doing this for the longest time. The lovers. Okay, Aries. A situation has blown up. And I think you're going to be communicating with an empress that you've made your choice. Now, for some of you, Aries, if you're sitting in masculine energy and you could be a feminine sat in your masculine, you may be having the courage to communicate with a karmic partner that you feel as if you're destined for a different path. And you may admit that with a lover's Gemini energy, you're deciding to move towards someone else. Clarification for you, Queen of Cups. So you could be wanting to communicate with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Queen of Wands. Or you've got a choice between a Queen of Cups and a Queen of Wands. Now this Queen of Cups could have been the other woman, or you were dealing with a third party who was very kind, loving and caring. And I feel as if you're wanting to communicate to a karmic partner that you want to be with a third party. That's how I feel. Now, this third party could be sad in the energy of the Empress. You could have recognised this person as your true divine feminine Aries. This could simply be awakening. Whoever is sat in the energy of the Empress with the Seven of Pentacles, this is someone who's been working on their own stability. This is also someone who's been looking at the past with the energy of the strength card, they've been holding back from you. It's taken a lot out of them. But this is someone that you may now be communicating with Aries because you seem to want to speak your truth. All right, so Aries, we have the Seven of Wands. So you may have been feeling quite defensive recently. Or you could have been fielding off other people. Other people may be interested in you. With the Ten of Wands, you've been highly stressed. You've been through a lot. With the energy of the Hermit, you could have been stressed in a relationship with a Virgo. Or you could have been stressed thinking about a Virgo. Or simply Aries with a Hermit, which can be the dark night of the soul. You've been through it. With the Ten of Cups, it could be that you want to be with someone that you believe will bring you the Ten of Cups. But I think, Aries, with a page of cuts, first of all, you have to apologise to someone. With the energy of the hangman, you want to apologise for waiting so long. Now, you could be wanting to apologise to a Pisces. Because with the Seven of Swords and the Hierophant card, you could have been married to someone but moved towards someone and treated them like a third party. Okay? 
wanted to have a fling. But I think, Aries, somehow you have got yourself out of a situation or you have found a way out of a situation and you're either wanting to talk to a karmic partner about the fact that you're leaving or you're wanting to talk to the third party to say, I've made my choice, I've decided to be with you. Aries, that's where we start your reading. And I'm looking at the clock and I'm seeing 11.23, 11.11. All right, guys, so, oh my goodness. We've got someone here who is breaking the chains, someone here who was taking control of their life, Aries, and I believe this is you, all right? And you are moving forward in a new direction. Okay. So, Archangel Michael, we start with the Eight of Wands and the Four. What is that all about, please? <laughs> Four of Wands. Eleven, eleven. Wow. Wow. What is on Aries' mind? The Seven of Swords. What you did before. Lies, deception, shadow energy. And we have the Sun. So you could have connected with a Leo in the past. Or this is you seeing the light, Aries, that you were not supposed to stay in a situation you were in. You're stepping into the energy of the Divine Masculine Aries, Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini energy. You are manifesting, reaching out to someone. Yes, you're manifesting the truth with the King of Swords. But with the Eight of Swords, you're trapped in your thoughts. How do I do this? How do I put one foot in front of the other now? What do I do first? So in the past, Six of Swords, what happened in the past? The devil. So you could have learned a lot of lessons, Aries, and taken control of your shadow side. You could have moved away from a Capricorn. With the Nine of Wands, you simply had enough. You simply had enough. And with the Five of Pentacles, you felt left out in the cold. So Aries, you took control of your situation for your future happiness. There could have been financial issues. After that, with the energy of the star, you healed yourself. Seven of Cups. You may have been confused about someone in particular sitting in the energy of the star. This could be an Aquarian. Or you were confused about what you wanted to do going forward. But with the Eight of Cups, you may have taken a journey to talk to someone or you decided to walk away from other options. Ace of Swords. You cut free of a connection and you walked away. And I think also, Aries, you pushed away other potential options. Three of Swords. You were still healing from heartbreak. Whatever that heartbreak was about for you. Now, what you're thinking about, Aries, is the Two of Cups. <sighs> High Priestess. So Aries, you could be thinking about someone sat in the energy of the High Priestess, Pisces or Cancer, Queen of Pentacles. So with the Two of Cups, the High Priestess and the Queen of Pentacles, you could have been keeping a secret from a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn that you had feelings for a third party. What's on Aries' mind? The Page of Pentacles. So you could have a child with an earth sign queen, a karmic partner, but you're actually in love with somebody else. And with the energy of the world, you're closing out a cycle because you've learned a series of very important lessons. Yes. You've learned 
that you cannot keep sabotaging relationships because it left you feeling very unhappy. Not wanting to put work into a karmic connection, not wanting to pursue someone that you're in love with. You kept running away. You kept wanting to escape, taking control of the situation you're in. And this is what you're realising. You are stopping those patterns of behaviour because it simply made you miserable. So, my lovely Aries, let's get timing here. We've got the Three of Wands and the Empress. Now, either Aries, you're sitting thinking about someone that you now know is your true divine feminine, or what you're thinking about is, I have to take control of my situation and travel to see someone to tell them it's over. You are somehow at a distance from this Empress. So Archangel Michael, who is this Empress? Okay, Eight of Pentacles, somebody that is either working on their own foundation or someone who is willing to put work in to a connection with you. The Wheel of Fortune, this is somebody who's been working on themselves, waiting for divine timing to come into effect. Waiting for divine timing to come into effect. Ten of Pentacles. This is either a karmic partner who knew at some point, Aries, that you would walk away from them, or someone who's been patiently waiting, Aries, for you to talk to them about the ending of a commitment. They sort of knew it was going to happen at some point. What is this person thinking about? The Queen of Swords, that they have questions. They're very guarded. They're in self-protection mode. And they're needing to make a serious judgment call, Sagittarian energy, about a King of Pentacles, which could be you, could be somebody else. How is Aries feeling? The Hierophant, you're either considering religion, faith, community or marriage or you're wanting to talk to this person about a very strong spiritual connection. You could be wanting to talk about a Taurus or to a Taurus. Justice, okay, you may want to bring justice to a long-term commitment or you could be going through a legal case to dissolve a marriage. There could be a Libra involved. What are you saying, Aries, to this person? Wow, that with the Ten of Swords you feel betrayed. What else are you saying, Aries? And with the Five of Cups, you don't see how this is going to work out. King of Cups, Aries. You may be saying to this empress that you love her. But with the nine of swords, you've been very stressed because I feel you've had a lot to cope with emotionally. Why is Aries stressed? Okay, because either Aries, you found out that your person had formed a relationship with the king of pentacles, had been unfaithful to you, or Aries... You're stressed because you know that you're ready to dissolve this relationship and you have been financially supporting this empress. And so this is going to come as a shock to her. You're no longer going to be supporting potentially a karmic partner. Aries, what are you saying to this person? You're taking control. Energy of the emperor. Divine masculine energy. What is the energy between these two people? The Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so Aries, you could be deciding to dissolve a relationship and you could be giving money to this Empress or you are realising that the person that you want to be with has begun a relationship with a King of Pentacles and you're wanting to fight off the competition and offer this Empress stability. Okay, Aries, now, Michael's telling me we didn't get timing, which is true. 
So Archangel Michael, do we have any idea of when this might take place for my Aries? Thank you, Michael. 21st of September, I'm hearing to the 11th of November. Okay, all right. What you seem to be fearing, Aries, is coasting any longer. I think you're fearing coasting any longer. You want to take control of your life, control of the situation and make a decision. And you're doing it. What else is Aries fearful of? What is Aries fearful of? Okay, continuing to stay in a very unhappy place emotionally. You're also fearing someone is not going to accept an offer of love. Okay, Ace of Pentacles. You're fearing that if you offered someone the opportunity of a relationship, they would turn you down. Or you could be fearful, Aries, that following making this decision, you may have to undertake a move, a geographical move, which would entail uprooting your life to live elsewhere. All right, what is Aries hoping for? Aries, you're hoping for the tower to fall. It's almost as if you were hoping that before this whole situation disintegrated so you didn't have to take control of it. What is Aries hoping for? To go back to someone from the past, Six of Cups. So Aries, you have a choice with the energy of the lovers. I think you could be going back to a past life soulmate or even divine twin. You could have Gemini in your chart. You could be wanting to be with a Gemini. What is the energy of the lovers? This is you making a choice. You're making a choice with a king of wands energy. So I could be connecting here with a masculine sat in the energy of the emperor and the king of wands. This is your Aries energy. Ace of Wands, you want a passionate new start, Aries. You're inspired to make this change. With the energy of the moon, you are fearful of doing this because this could be somebody that you treated like an option before. Now you want to offer commitment. Three of Cups, you're wanting to reunite with someone, Aries. Yeah. With the Six of Pentacles, you could be hoping to go through divorce and then reunite with someone. Or you're hoping for equal give and take in a new relationship with someone that you knew before. Six of Cups. Knight of Cups could be a younger water sign you want to reunite with. Or you have a lot of love for this person. Three of Pentacles, you want to know... If they are open to rebuilding a foundation with you, you want to know, are they open to looking at this connection again? Maybe from a different perspective. Two of Wands. I don't think you know what decision they're going to make. I don't think you know what they're going to say. So this is you sort of sending out a message or going to see this person to talk and then pulling back because they may say to you, I need to think about this, two of wands. What are you saying to this person, Aries? The death card. You could be connecting with a Scorpio or what you're saying to this person is, I've gone through change and transformation. I'm now single, for instance. I've seen the error of my ways. I've faced my shadow and I want a brand new start. What is this person going to say to Aries? Knight of Wands. They're going to say they're very attracted to you. They have a lot of passion for you. They want to move forward with you. Or they could be calling you out. What is the Knight of Wands? Aries, this is going to be a tough one. Because with the Two of Pentacles, this is someone who may feel that you're still planning on juggling them with somebody else. What is this person's energy that Aries is moving towards? She's sitting in pre-Empress energy. All right. So she's doing very well. She's financially stable. She's independent. She's single. What is she saying to Aries? 
Six of Wands, she may feel as if you just want to win her. She may feel with the Six of Wands that she's doing very well and she may feel that getting involved with you would cause a heaviness to her life. Particularly if there was drama before, she may be nervous. What is Aries going to say? What is Aries going to say? Page of Swords. You want to speak the truth. What else is Aries going to say? That with the Nine of Cups, you were overindulgent before. What else is Aries going to say? But with the Chariot, you've left a situation. And you could be moving nearer this person. You may also say, Aries, that you were dealing with somebody who was overindulgent themselves. Maybe a karmic partner who might have been a Cancerian was overindulgent. They were messing around with an earth sign king and you found out. So you ended it. But the chariot is you saying, I want to move towards you. I want to do this. I'm ready. Four of Pentacles. Aries, you may admit that you don't have a lot to offer this person. You're hanging on to four Pentacles. Or you may be saying to this person, it was difficult to get out of this commitment because my karmic partner was holding on to me. Now I realise that she was in a relationship with the King of Pentacles. I'm leaving her behind. What is going to happen going forward? Page of Wands. Messages of passion going backwards and forwards. Do we have a final card, Michael? Two of Swords. So Aries, this was difficult for you. You could well have blocked another person. So Archangel Michael, what would Aries want to say to their person? I'm trying to forget you. It's not working. Aries, you couldn't forget someone. Wow. I didn't want to let you go. I just didn't know where to go with this. All right. I realise I was selfish. I feel ashamed of that. Memories of us still linger even after all this time. Wow, Aries. I don't feel this way with anyone else. I dream of you. So Aries, you're going back to someone that you couldn't forget. You feel ashamed of the way you treated this person. You've been trying to forget them, but it's just not worked. And I feel as if you're returning to them to see whether or not now you are going to be becoming single whether or not they're willing to work on this with you. Okay? Underneath the deck, the way we triggered each other felt too painful and I didn't understand at the time. I don't think you understood that this was a powerful divine connection, Aries. Yeah, under that, this is the real thing I know. All right, guys. So Aries, I'm leaving the reading there. I do hope it's helped. Take care of you. Sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye now.